Friends, it is finally here. Oh my gosh, we have been waiting for this since December, back when Adore TV dropped the major bombshell that Ryzen was gonna be coming in super power form for Zen 2. We we're gonna get Ryzen 3, that was six cores, 12 threads. Ryzen 7, wait, Ryzen 5, that's eight cores, 16 threads. Ryzen 7, that's 12 cores, 6, 24 threads. I can't do math. And Ryzen 9, which is 16 cores, 32 threads, except even though th those rumors were delicious. There's no evidence that that was gonna happen. It was what we all wanted to happen. We want AMD to come and give us a great affordable alternative to Intel. Well, guess what, my friends? One of the main people who does all of the sleuthing to find these chips that are engineering samples in databases, Mr. Apisec on Twitter, well, he's finally found it he's finally found the fabled Ryzen 9 processor. You see, my friends, 16 cores, 32 threads, Zen 2 on AM4 is now a reality. The motherboard was an X570. The CPU name can't be decoded by the decoding chart, but we have clock speeds. Not only is it 16 cores and 32 threads on those little chips that's gonna fit in your X470 motherboard, it also has a base clock of 3.3 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.2, which is disappointing to a lot of people because that's worse than my Threadripper that's in the system right now that's a 2950X. But, however, it's still an engineering sample. I don't know why I said it like that. According to the Adore TV leak, they were expecting that the 3850X, which is supposed to be the Ryzen 9 chip, might be able to boost up to five gigahertz. What is unknown at this time is whether or not this is a fresh engineering sample, if it's an older one, how much more improvement AMD is gonna make from the engineering sample to the retail shipment, and if it might be able to boost a little bit higher than previous generations, or, I mean, it still is a tremendous engineering feat. Even if the clock speeds of this Ryzen 9 processor that's on the AM4 chip, you know, the little one that's gonna come in a box like this. If that can hit roughly the same clock speeds as a Threadripper that is huge, like massive. Reese, can you get me the Threadripper box? Where is that? Where do we keep that thing? If AMD can put a CPU that used to go in this form factor, the chips were this freaking big. If it can go into a chip, that's this freaking big. That is amazing. The, the seven nanometer process that they're, they're building everything on is quite good. Even if clock speeds aren't five gigahertz, we are expecting an IPC improvement from Zen 2. The rumors out there have been 15%. 15% IPC improvement over Zen Plus would put us on par with Intel. And considering the fact that a 16 core monster that used to be this big is now just you, you little, little boy, then that is something that could be easily remarkable by AMD. If this is the chip that they're actually going to be launching at Computex, I tip my hat to them, even if the clock speed isn't the five gigahertz barrier, I think we can absolutely be satisfied. And the best thing is that it's on an X570 motherboard, so you don't have to worry about necessarily needing 4,096 pins to make this work. But speaking of X570 motherboards, MSI just started teasing things out on the internet, doing a little promotion, showing off the what is expected to be the X570 Meg Ace motherboard. They're just kind of teasing it out there. It says 3000 at some point, so you can tell that it's for Ryzen 3000. It looks like it's all but confirmed at this point. We do have to potentially brace ourselves for the fact that even if they do have a 16 core chip on the AM4 platform, it might not be ready for the announcement at Computex. I mean, the whole CES thing was we saw even then that AMD was prepared to announce something about Zen 2, but only an eight core, 16 thread part, and it doesn't seem like they were ready to announce something else. It could be that at Computex, they're ready to announce the Ryzen 7 12 core, 24 thread part, but not the actual 16 core, and that's gonna be coming out later. And this would also give some indication as to why AMD potentially, this is rumor and speculation by me now, dropped the third gen Ryzen Threadripper off of their roadmap. It could be because they're actually gonna do away with Threadripper altogether. You have the high-end AM4 platform on X570, which comes in high capacities of 16 cores and 32 threads. Obviously, that's less than the highest-end Threadripper of six, uh, 32 cores and 20, or 64 threads. My math is so bad today. But they could also then say, if you want that type of capacity, you just go over to Epic and you go into the server environment. That is a possibility. 
or it could just be that they don't want to take any hype away from the upcoming 3000 series Ryzen and they want to save the hype for Threadripper later on down the line. They're not going to unveil it at Computex and then they'll just do it later in the year. Keep it off the roadmap for now so that they can have the mindshare of Ryzen 3000 on the desktop and then have more mindshare for Threadripper third gen later on down the line. Obviously, there has been a ton of speculation, but now it is official. It is confirmed, at least by the fact that it's in a database somewhere, that 16 core 32 thread Ryzen is going to be we, we can't say it's coming at this point. We would obviously assume that. We would obviously assume that if it's in a database for benchmarking of an engineering sample that we would actually see it produced. But I mean, AMD could change their minds and just never release it. And then it's still just an engineering sample. But we're all hoping it's official. It exists. It's not a unicorn, although unicorns exist. Ah, but let us know, are you excited over this? Is this news getting your jimmies all boiling to a good zone? Are you keen on this? Are you going to be buying it when it comes out? Let me know down in the comments. Keen to hear from you down there. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our hot news related content as well as my bad statements and weird mannerisms. I'm Brett, love you too, bye.